kind, a fragrant one. Tomorrow, the annual spring flower show in Harrogate opens its doors to the public. Greenfinger growers from across the country have gathered to show off the very best of their displays. So Paul wanted a sneak preview. Well, I hope I haven't spoiled the display. I have to say that, uh, you know, I've been to quite a few of these. It's the 82nd one. Uh, they reckon, the organisers reckon this could be the best ever now. Uh, there are lots of exhibits. This, uh, for example, has been planned with uh, children in mind. But the one that caught my eye was a Mediterranean theme garden and uh, I liked it so much a few days ago I went down to see uh, the grower down in Doncaster just outside Doncaster and he's very much got the future in mind take a look at this over the last 25 years our climate has warmed significantly and by 2050 temperatures could be on average two degrees Celsius higher this means we will have to think again about what types of plants we choose to grow with species that normally thrive in southern Europe becoming the norm in gardens across Yorkshire. Well, Robin, you've been at Stonecrop Nurseries outside Doncaster for 25 years. I mean, what are you growing now that you couldn't do back then? Typical example, olive tree. European uh, variety of olive. That's been out here all winter. It's full of fruit. No way could you have grown that 25 years ago. Another example, uh, Mediterranean lavender. Varieties called dentata. It's a very fleshy leafed aromatic uh, plant. The most exciting bit of your nursery is around the corner though, isn't it? Yeah. Shall we take a, a Absolutely. walk? Absolutely. Well, Robin, the sun's out. It feels as over in the Mediterranean, but you're not telling me that I can grow oranges and lemons in my back garden, surely? Not quite, Paul, no, but I can tell you that all these trees have been left in this building all over winter without any heat or any soil care, whereas 20 years ago, this building would have had to have been heated to about plus five degrees to keep these things ticking over. I can also tell you that this particular variety of lemon, which is called a maya, is, is growing in London quite abundantly, right. uh, without any protection or without any greenhouse. So up here in Yorkshire, we're not that far away, are we, from having these out all year round? Absolutely. I mean, these are all outside from uh, end of April right the way through to September. Right. And hopefully in South Yorkshire, in another 20 years' time, maybe they'll be outside all year. Well, I was so impressed. Believe it or not, I've got my hand in my pocket and I've bought an olive tree, so I'll plant it in the garden and I'll tell you how I get on now. I'm joined by uh, Martin Fish, I'm told. No, uh, no relation to Michael. No, no. not. He's the uh, director of the show, Designate. I have to point that bit Absolutely, out. Absolutely, yes. uh, It looks fantastic. Just tell us, before we get on to talk about this Mediterranean garden we're in, um, just how much work goes into this. It's from year to year, so as soon as this show finishes, we start working on the autumn show, and we start working on next spring show, and we're already thinking of ideas for 2011. Right, OK. This Mediterranean garden, this has been designed by students, hasn't it? Yeah, it's one of seven college gardens, and this is, as you say, a Mediterranean theme with some really unusual plants in it that you can still grow in Yorkshire because they're hardy. Right, and we've just seen in that piece that as the years go by, you can, we're going to be able to plant citrus plants. Well, there's uh, more exhibits where you can buy those things. Mm -hmm. um, what is the for everybody coming over the next four days? What are the other highlights? Bags and bags. We've got seven gardens here. We've got the tulip show. We've got the daffodil show. We've got the flower halls where we've got 100 exhibitors from all over the UK. We've got 27 of them doing the innovative display where they do something a bit wacky and off the wall to make it different. Um, the sundries outside. You can buy everything you want, whether you're a gardener, been doing it for years or you're new to gardening there is something for everybody and we're regarded as one of the friendliest shows on the show circuit fantastic and there's some nice weather how about that i told you i'd plan it you did yeah i did ask you to and you did <laughs> it might there. go well, wrong but i'm sure it won't um it starts tomorrow it runs for four days thursday friday saturday sunday ticket sales have been absolutely fantastic which is great um, the weather, well, it doesn't really matter because you're inside. There are some outside exhibits, but uh, it does look as it's going to be really nice for much of that time. So let's have a look at this evening's graphics. And uh, you can see that there's uh, some sunshine at the moment. Um, overnight, you know, there could be some cloud around, so that means that it won't be as cold as last night. Nevertheless, uh, temperatures will fall back to around about 5 Celsius. That is 41 Fahrenheit with a light southerly breeze. There could be some patchy mist and patchy fog by dawn. But, uh, you know, that will clear very, very quickly in the morning and really tomorrow looks another fantastic day. Uh, long spells of sunshine. May well be that there's quite a 
high cloud, especially across more western parts. So here in Harrogate, uh, the sunshine might be a little on the hazy side, but it will be dry. It's going to be warm. Top temperatures 18 degrees in Harrogate, Leeds, and Sheffield, 64 Fahrenheit, uh, which is a good four degrees higher, five degrees higher than the uh, seasonal average. Uh, the further outlook looks very good for Friday and probably for much of Saturday with uh, more sunshine, although there is a risk of a uh, shower late on Saturday. And then I'm afraid through Sunday things turn more unsettled and next week it's back to type with rain and cooler weather spreading from the west. So enjoy the next couple of days if you can. That's the forecast. Thanks, Paul. Yes, thank you very much. Well, just before we...